Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create vertical tabs for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it's going to look. We can see that we have these tabs over here and uh, this is the content inside the first tab. Now if I click on the second tab, we can see we have the content of the second tab. We have the third tab and we have the fourth tab. And we also have this changed color for the active tab. So this is what we're going to design in this video using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So let's get started. All right, here I have created this folder called vertical tabs and I just open it with VS code. So let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create a new file for the HTML. So I'll just type index.html and let's create a file for CSS. So let's type style.css and let's also create a JavaScript file. I'll just name it main.js. Or let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And here I'll just link the CSS file. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And in the body, let's link the JavaScript file. So here I'll just type script, colon src and press tab. And here in the src, I'll just type main.js. All right, now the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division to hold everything. So we'll create a division with a class of tabs container to hold all of this. So I'll just create a division with a class of tabs container. And in that, the first thing we will do is create all these tabs. So we have four tabs over here. So we'll create a container division for that as well. So I'll just type tabs. And in that we will have divisions with a class of tab. Now in this division, we need to have this text tab one, tab two through tab four. You can add any text you want over here. So I'll just type tab one and I'll just duplicate this and we need three more tabs. So I'll just duplicate it three more times and I'll just change this to tab two, tab three and tab four. All right, now the next thing we need to do is add the content. So let's create a division with a class of content container. And in that for each of the content, we will have a division with a class of content. Now in the content, we need to have a heading. So for the heading, we will have an S3. And uh, for the first heading, I'll just type heading one. And then for this text, we will have paragraphs. So let's create a paragraph and I'll just copy this text and I'll just paste it over here. And let's create one more paragraph. And here I'll just copy and paste this text. You can go ahead and add your own content over here. You can also add images, list or whatever you want over here. All right, now I'll just copy this content division and uh, I'll just paste it three more times. And let's change the content. So for the second one, I'll just type heading two. And we'll just make some changes over here. Let's go to the second tab. And uh, I'll just copy this text. And paste it over here in the second paragraph. Let's go to the third heading and I'll just type heading three. And for this, I'll just copy this paragraph from here. And I'll just paste it over here. I just wanted to have different lengths of paragraphs so that we can identify between different content. And then for the last heading, I'll just type heading four and we just have one paragraph over here. So I'll just delete the second paragraph. All right, that's basically it with the HTML of our vertical tab. Now let's open this in our browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. Now, once you install this, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see all the content of our website. Now let's style this using CSS. All right, so let's go to our CSS file. And uh, first of all, let's target the tabs container. So we can see we have this division with the class of tabs container. So here just tab dot tabs container. And first of all, let's set the font family to Roboto and sans serif. And uh, I'll just set the max width to 700 pixels. And uh, we'll also set a min height of 400 pixels. So it will have a minimum height of 400 pixels. And we'll also set the margin to 30 pixels top and bottom and auto for left and right so that it will be in the center. And we'll also set the display to flex because here we can see we have the tabs at the left and we have the content at the right. So let's type display of flex. And now we can see we have the tabs on the left and we have the content on the right. All right, let's also add a box shadow. So I'll just have box shadow and we'll set the values to zero, 
4 pixels, 40 pixels, negative 8 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.2. Alright, now the next thing we will do is we will style the tabs. So here we can see we have this division with the class of tabs and in that we have all these uh, individual tabs. So let's type tabs container, tabs. And the first thing we will do is we'll set the width to 300 pixels. And uh, let's set a background color of black. And let's set the color of the text to white. And let's set the text transform to uppercase. And we'll also text align it to the center. Right now let's style these individual tabs. So for that let's type tabs container tab or you can also type tabs dot tab. And uh, let's set a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And uh, let's set the background color of the tabs to 222. And let's set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have this pointer and uh, we'll also set the font weight to bold right now when we have an active tab we will have a different color so here we can see for the active tabs we have a light color so let's go back to our index.html file now here we'll set the first tab as the default tab so for the first tab I will also add a class of active so whenever we have the active class we will have a different color for the tab while we're still here we'll also add the active class to one of the content so by default we will add it to the first content so here we'll also add a class of active and we'll only display the content that is active All right so let's go back to our style or css file and uh, let's type tabs container tabs tab dot active and let's set the background color of the active tab to f6fdff and we'll set the color of the text to a dark color so this is going to be the active tab. All right now let's style the content. So for the content we have a division with the class of content container. So let's go over here and let's type tabs container content container. And we'll have a background color of f6fdff. And what we will do is we'll just display the content that has the active class. So here I'll just type tabs container content container dot content. So here we can see inside the content container we have a division with the class of content and for the first one we have a class of active so by default for the content i'll just set the display to none and whenever we have the active class we will set the display to block so let's tap tabs container content container content dot active and let's set the display to block and now we can see that the first content is displayed over here all right now let's go ahead and style the content so for the content we will have a padding of 32 pixels and now let's style the s3 inside the content so let's tap tabs container content container s3 and uh, let's set the margin of the s3 to 0 and we'll also set the font size to 30 pixels and for the paragraph we will increase the line height so let's tap tabs container content container and here we'll just type p for the paragraph and uh, let's set the line height to 2 all right, that's it with the styling of the vertical tabs. Now let's add the functionality using JavaScript. So in the index.html file, we have already linked our JavaScript file over here. Now we need to reference some of these elements from the HTML into our JavaScript. So we need to reference the tabs. So here we can see all these tabs. We have to reference them so that we can add and remove the active class. And we also need to reference all the content because we need to add the active class to that as well. So let's go to our main.js file and let's create a constant. Let's type tabs and we'll set it equal to document dot query selector all because we have multiple elements. And uh, here I'll just type tabs container tab because for each of the tabs we have a class of tab. And for the content I'll just type const and content or contents and let's set it equal to document dot query selector all. And uh, here we'll just type tabs container content so this will select all the content divisions and store it inside this constant all right now let's add event listeners to all of the tabs so when we click on any of the tabs we want to display the content inside that tab so we will use a for each loop to loop through all the tabs and add event listeners to all of them so let's type tabs dot for each and for each of the tabs i'll just call it t and let's create an arrow function over here 
and let's add event listeners to all of the tabs so for the tabs we are calling it t over here so let's tap t dot add event listener and we will listen for the click event and uh, here let's create an arrow function so whenever we click on any of these tabs we want to add the active class to the tab so let's tap t dot class list dot add and here let's tap active right now let's click on the second tab and now we can see we have the active class added to the second tab in the same way we have the active class added to the third and the fourth tabs now when we add the active class to one of the tabs we want to remove the active class from all the other tabs so for that let's create a function over here so let's create a function called remove active class and uh, in this function we'll just loop through all the tabs so let's tap tabs dot for each and we'll call them t and uh, let's create an arrow function over here and here let's tap t dot class list dot remove active and we'll just call this function over here inside this for each so here before adding the class active let me just call the function so i'll just tap remove active class right now let's click on the second tab and now we can see we don't have the active class in the first tab and uh, everything is working all right now the last thing we need to do is when we click on any of these tabs we want to display the content inside the tab here we can see we have all these four tabs stored inside this tabs constant and this is basically an array and it starts from zero so the first tab over here tab one has an index of zero in the same way for tab two we have an index of one and then we have an index of two over here for the tab three and index of three for the tab four now in the same way all the content is stored inside this contents array so here also we have the index starting from zero for the first content which is this first content over here and then we have an index of one for the second content and so on so let's go back to our javascript file and uh, what we'll do over here is that we will type contents and we need to access the index of the tab so that we can add the same index over here for the contents and we will add the active class to the contents so for that here in the for each loop we can add one more argument so let's type comma and we'll add an argument for the index so i'll just type i for index you can name this variable anything you want and i'll just access the same index variable over here so i'll just type i and here I'll just type class list dot add and here i'll just type active so what we are doing over here is that we are accessing the same index of the tab and uh, we are displaying the content of that same index over here and just like we did for the tabs where we removed the active class we'll also remove the active class from all the contents before adding the active class so here i'll just tap contents dot for each and uh, i'll just name it c for content and uh, here i'll just tap c dot class list dot remove active so this will remove the active class from all the contents and uh, we will add the active class over here for the correct content right now let's go back to our website and let's see whether everything works all right so let's click on the second tab and we can see that the second content is displayed over here let's click on the third tab we have the third content displayed over here and we have the fourth content displayed over here so everything is working all right so that's basically how you create vertical tabs for your website using html css and javascript all right that's it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day